and they're off. Run to the top of the stretch. La Bobby is in front. Two cent Tootsie and setting the mood on the outside. Setting the mood. Comes again with the second run and she's up to challenge for the lead now. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Setting the mood under light handling from Irad Ortiz Jr. She's moving away. La Bobby and two cent Tootsie in a battle for second. Act like Artie destined for fourth. But the first race winner will be setting the mood. Setting the mood indeed as she draws off to win by as much as she wants. She's about five in front. Second, Lababi, a third. Brasstown now by six. Monmouth Drive is second. Earthquake is third. Then Bye Bye Man rallying outside of Beau Trace. But as they come home to the first finish line, all aboard the one to two favorite Brasstown. Brasstown on the strength of the class drop proves too much. He's geared down and wrapped up while well clear. Monmouth Drive is second. The quarter pole, Summer Revolution, rolls off the turn and then suddenly in front by two and a half. Spike Show trying to come on through from between horses. Ernie Banks battles on with Christo, Junior Gilliam, and everybody else. They're inside the final furlong, and Summer Revolution has built the five, now a six, now a seven length lead. And he rolls home to win much the best. Summer Twenty-two and one opening quarter. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Into Fancy. Sharp off the turn. Leads by two. Carolyn Smile is there. Second. Twilight is at the inside with Casey's Girl on the outside. Less than an eighth to go. Into Fancy still leads. Carolyn Smile still tries. Carolyn Smile tries to take a late surge. Here she comes. Carolyn Smiles in time. Trying to run home from the back is Deckology. They turn home. Taylor's initiation on the outside toward the rail. Big Spender, they're an eighth of a mile from home and their heads apart on the inside and Big Spender fights to hold it. Taylor's initiation is right alongside. Big Spender digging and finding. Taylor's initiation takes another shot at him. They come home for the wire. It's the favorite, Big Spender, who hangs on to win it. the quarter of a mile left to go three quarters one ten and four less than a quarter of a mile to get gloriously at six to five comes off the turn with the lead please tries to muster another effort second down the center unforeseen is lifting late me head is back to fourth 16th to go gloriously driven out by irad ortiz jr and the chalk talks on the friday opener as gloriously wins and wins easy gloriously by three in the end unforeseen second please Three quarters, 112 and four. It's Morning Stride who comes away with the lead. Dizzy Gillespie game and trying to mount another effort. Cowboy Culture is third. 16th to go. Morning Stride driven out. Morning Stride at three to five will deliver. He'll win it going away in the end. Good battle for second. Cowboy Culture is up second. At the top of the stretch, Dylan Rocks appears to have things well in hand. He's off the turn with a mild shake of the reins, and he moves to a clear advantage. You should be so lucky taking up the slack second. Hero Up is now third. Inside that final furlong, Dylan Rocks is still clear. You should be so lucky gaining, but not quickly enough to get to the favorite, Dylan Rocks. Dylan Rocks on top by two in the end.
up the pressure. Golden Notion coming after Baby White Sox, and these two speed off by five for the run to the top of the stretch. Baby White Sox tries to cut the corner on Golden Notion. They're headed head for the lead. Baby White Sox holding on. Baby White Sox still in front. Golden Notion trying to get by. These two head and head, one for long to go. My name is Fred rallying into third, looking at Liberty on the outside as fourth, 16th to go. The big favorite, Golden Notion, trying to get by big long shot, Baby White Sox. Here comes looking at Liberty late on the scene. Here's the wire. Golden Notion won it. Three quarters, 111 and three, less than a quarter of a mile to go. Macho Doro still leads by two and a half. Voices in the darkness tries to track him down with less than an eighth to go. These two are well clear of the others. Macho Doro right up against the rail. Voices in the darkness out in the center. Macho Doro maintains his lead. Macho Doro in front. Any chances here? Witch Hunter with work to do. Off the turn with a length advantage. Crystalina musters a rally on the outside. Water Wizard is next with ups a Daisy Do. Final 16th of a mile. It's Witch Hunter still in front. Crystalina's made a long sustained run to get into second, but Witch Hunter is clear. Witch Hunter lives up to the billing and she wins by three. for the far turn. Flower Party still showing the way. Aw Emma still second, getting closer now. The half mile time is 48 and 3 fifth seconds. Chocolate Kiss is set to strike in behind while third. She's a Julie given more rain fourth. Dunbar Road is winding up. Here comes Dunbar Road fifth, fourth, and now third. And Vault is circling up on the far outside as well. They're off the turn. They're into the stretch. Aw Emma in front. Dunbar Road to the attack. Chocolate Kiss is in between them. He's running a good race as well. Vault down the side of the track there's one for long to go dunbar road has to dig down deep chocolate kisses inside keeps on coming dunbar road fending her off so far half and 45 and three pace has been solid diamond king in front backyard heaven right there silver dust mr money rallies up on the outside into fourth ever fast has a shot right in behind while fifth snapper sinclair six global campaign is under pressure back in seventh they're off the turn here comes silver dust and mr money coming after the lead now ever fast dives down inside with a long shot chance for ever fast and owendale is rolling down the center of churchill downs silver dust in front ever fast down inside owendale continues to close mr money gives way late 50 yards to go silver dust ever fast owendale here's the wire owendale got there They race for the far turn. New York traffic three wide and putting in a bid now. Necker Island set to strike while in behind. Attachment rate is there. Flapjack right in the thick of it. Major Fed has been wide on both turns. Maxfield is asked to go now. Four lengths to make up, but is forced to go wide. Shake some action and informative. Racing for the top of the stretch. New York traffic and pneumatic. Pneumatic tries to cut the corner off the turn. New York traffic comes a little bit wide. These two hook up with three sixteenths to go. New York traffic's in front maxfield is making progress here comes maxfield rallying boldly down the center of the track new york traffic wanders outside pneumatic digs in maxfield continues to close new york traffic and maxfield pneumatic is down inside maxfield is thinking derby Rain still falling here at GP. So you get the situation here. Renaissance Frolic just needs to mind his manners, and he's well on his way. Renaissance Frolic, a quarter of a mile from home, now on top by 10. Tis a runner is still second. Colonist is still third as Renaissance Frolic is opening up. 
Renaissance Frolic making four to five look like what it is. It's easy money. He's well clear out here. Tis a runner is clearly second. Colonist is clearly third. It's Renaissance Frolic in a jog. With a quarter of a mile left to get. Man with a plan has been in front from the outset. He leads by two. Lucky to be in America into the clear and on the attack. Dublin Tinker at a big number from the back on the rail. Eighth of a mile left to go. Man with the plan still the leader. Lucky to be in America has got to get off his heels. And up to third is Dublin Tinker. Sixteenth to go. Man with the plan has the lead. Man with a plan is in front. Lucky to be in America's second. Dublin. by two over Colonel Liam in second. In Dimage is now third. It's a gap of four to Blue Bluff. We just ran into fourth. Winking at the dude is back to fifth, and the trailer is Kraken Wagon, and the leader is still War Giant. War Giant trying to hold his lead, but they're starting to get closer. Here's In Dimage with an inside lane, but here's Blue Buff from the back. Blue Buff, four wide and on the go for Vasquez. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. In Dimage never left the rail. He got through inside on both turns. Blue Buff has got momentum on the stand side. It's now Blue Buff at even money who's taken over the lead. In Dimage Tries to run with him. Colonel Liam is now third. Basic. Pretty sloppy track. Light rain falling right now. First race pumps here at Gulfstream. Eastern. Quarter of a mile left to go. It's Jaramillo and not so subtle with the lead. Bebo fights back second. Still scheming will have his opportunity. Meanwhile, LeBron looks to thread the needle with Rare Hugh, who's on from the back. Three quarters, one ten and one, less than a quarter of a mile to go. It's not so subtle now, striding clear. Not so subtle by four. Nobody can catch him. The battle's for second. Not so subtle after an early tussle with Bebo wins emphatically. Not so subtle at four to five, moves off by seven or eight. Bebo will hold second. Still Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Miss Meshack not messing around. She's off the turn now, moving to the lead. 46 and 2 for a half mile. Miss Meshack now opens by three. Fightress is there, second toward the outside, still alive, is now third. The battle's on for fourth as Forever Marta tries to get into that spot, but nobody's going to catch Miss Meshack. Miss Meshack for Joe Orsino and Christian Torres to win by three in the end. been all Kalani Kim thus far. Kalani Kim with a three-length lead coming to the quarter pole. Sapphire Silk trying to close the gap in second. Another four back to Trouville. And Rich by Deb drops out of it. They turn for home. Kalani Kim, two and a half length lead. Sapphire Silk is in second. Down on the inside, Trouville is in third, followed by Little Rachel. They're coming to the 16th pole. And it's Kalani Kim by five, six lengths. Little Rachel now moves into second late with a nice rally, but no match for Kalani Kim. Kalani Kim, handridden, dominates. Little A quarter to go and Steel the Diamonds is loose. She's in front by four lengths. Jolie Olympica on the outside trying to close the gap and is doing so with a furlong left to go. It's still Steel the Diamonds. Jolie Olympica into Mystic on the inside. From the back of the field, Alexandra is kicking in late. Jolie Olympica comes to Steel the Diamonds. Steal the Diamonds on the outside. Alexandra flying. Jolie Olympica takes the lead and wins the Monrovia.